large concrete structures that they make for protecting like the seawall. They started making these I guess after Hurricane Yolanda destroyed most of Tacloban and here in southern Leyte in the Masan area specifically they started putting these along the seawall of all the area basically of Masan proper for what I've seen. And you can see the steel forms here that they make them with, that they pour the concrete inside. And then here's the finished product. And I have some other video and pictures I'll post where it shows them in place in Masin. Bajomoto! That's a pretty ingenious idea. Seems to be very effective from what I've noticed along the seawall there in Maasin. They also have a yard of these in Maasin proper after the Gaisano Metro Hypermart going over towards DSWD and BIR. I'll include some of that, some footage or pictures also. Just to give you an idea of the size, there's my umbrella, which is about three feet high, next to the form that's got cement in it drying. So here we are at a roadside excavation project, and they have these big cement jacks here. I'm trying to find out what the actual name is. But so far, everybody's too shy to talk to me. And we've got some more now in the forms. It looks like they were painting the forms. I'll make some video at some other spots where I know they have these already installed seaside in town. Here you can see some more of these jack stones they're called. I found out from one of the truck drivers at the excavation site that that's what they're called here, jackstones. They've used here as flood control structure on the seawall. This nice big fishing boat while we're here. So we're in Masin City, Southern Leyte right now. That big white building back there, that's BIR, Bureau of Internal Revenue. And then we have another spot I'm gonna go to and show you some more of these jackstones in place. Okay, thank you very much. Just a fun fact, this seawall here, Nora said was built when she was a little girl or possibly before she was even born. And she was born in 1971. And this uh, cement gazebo kind of structure, if you notice the base, the same materials and building from the piece of the seawall I just showed you. Okay, Han, so this uh, cement gazebo, I guess I'll call it, do you remember from your childhood like any functions or activities like where you would see they were using this? This one? I saw this before I was six years old. Okay. And, you know, like people go there. I don't know what to be used this one. Something like this one here so around. There was a lot of fishing boats. Oh, yeah? And how did they get there? Was there like a bamboo bridge or something, or do you remember? Um, I don't remember. 
Yeah. yeah. This one, I think they put lights on the top. Uh -huh. Probably if the bird's coming. I think this mm -hmm. is the, well, I don't know what you call it. Almost like a lighthouse, kind of? Yeah, something like that. Oh, okay, all but right. The structure, there's uh, cement over there. I so see, yeah, I see. Yep, and I was pointing out the wall. I made some video of this wall you said came from either your childhood or before you were born. Yep, okay, thank you everybody. We'll go on to the next spot. Okay, and now you can see some more of the jack stones and we've got some more of the forms. And then I'm gonna get you a better view over there of some piled up again for flood control structures. But first, let's take a closer look at the forms. Hello, sir. How are you? So here you can see a couple of the forms opened up so they can remove them from the jack stones. And here are some more. Here's a separate piece so we can see them from the inside. And then we'll take a couple more views of how they look as uh, flood control structures doing what they were meant to do. So you can see how they're stacked up here along the seaside. 